here is a maybe typical battery storage drawer. This is a before picture. Hopefully the after picture will look better. So let's get to work. Okay, the way we made these uh, separators is uh, to take uh, pieces of uh, very thin plywood. These are these are probably uh, um, 3 sixteenths. So a little bigger than eight inch, and I cut them so they they interlock like the old egg crates. So you can you cut uh, halfway, probably a little above halfway up, and you can do this several ways. One is with a table saw, um, and the other is with some other kind of saw. But the key is you need these cut in here so that they can slide in the, in the slots like this. And the tighter the better, but not so tight that you can't get them together. So let me show you what this looks like finished in the battery drawer. You want them to be correctly oriented all the same way, because they'll look the end, they're not interchangeable in general, unless you make them that way. These are not interchangeable. So basically we sort them. Basically, what I have here is, um, in our area we use lots of batteries because we have lots of power failures. So I have a section of use batteries and the used batteries are marked on the top with an X and um, I actually go to the trouble of measuring the voltage so they're, this is 1.5 and new, new batteries are slightly higher voltage than that, closer to 1.6. Um, so those are all the, the, the used batteries. Now the new batteries I'm putting over here and there are no marks on them. So you try not to mix them up because if you mix them with one battery with one battery, um, you will, it's just not, I don't know what happens exactly and it's not going to explode or anything, but it's not a good policy. I suspect they wear out quicker or so. When you use the batteries in, a, in anything, from, from uh, my experience, you end up that, that all the batteries are the same voltage uh, when you throw them away. So they're all working together somehow. Now, these are old batteries, and I've tied them together with a rubber band. And, there. and you see we have a place for everything now. We have C cells, D cells, AA, AAA. And they can all just kind of have a home. So the new batteries, well, in this package, are going to go in here too. And anyway, that's kind of the story. I don't know why that there's no sun up in the sky, stormy weather. 